Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you a trick today that I use when I'm Texas rigging a little soft plastic. So I do a lot of times at home what I call uh, light duty flipping. Uh, it's basically where you're flipping something really, really light. Uh, 3 16th ounce sinker, smaller hook, smaller line. Instead of using 20, 25 pound test line, I'm using 15, uh, probably won't go much lighter than 15, 15, 17 pound test line, a little bit smaller rod, something that's a little bit more parabolic. I've heard people say that before. A rod that doesn't have quite as much booty in it, right? So uh, I do that a lot at home, especially in the fall because fish just tend to not want bigger baits, the big jigs, the big plastics, the crawl baits. They want very simple baits, uh, straight tail worms like this, uh, you know, stick style baits straight tail worms tend to work the best so I'm gonna show you I use this is the bait that I use the most right here this is the z-man bang sticks I use z-man finesse worms too but the type hook that I really like to use when I'm when I'm using this bait you can see here it is the bang sticks is nothing but a stick bait but it's got tentacle tubes on it just like you see them right here so it's, it's, it's a cool little bait to flip around in the fall just because the profile is super simple and super uh, super palatable to those finicky fall time fish my favorite hook is just an old style OG offset worm hook alright now when you're using elastic it's a little different when it comes to rigging uh, it's not as easy to, uh, to to rig it up on a hook you got there's some things that you need to know about elastic before you start rigging it to get the most out of the bait uh, when you're using it on a straight shank hook like this uh, I got another hook over here that I'll show you using it on a straight shank a lot of times they'll come with a little keeper on them and elastic really uh, works good with the keeper this hook right here this is just an owner jungle flipping hook now if I was using a hook like that it would work really good in my opinion the flip the jungle flipping hook is probably not the best fluorocarbon hook because it's a big gauge wire and I'm using 15 pound test uh, so you're just not gonna get quite as good a penetration on it so I like to downsize my hook wire size to this guy uh, and I feel like I just get a little bit better hook penetration. Also, an offset is really good for fishing around wood, laydowns and docks. That hook doesn't prick through the plastic as much and you're just more efficient. But the problem with it is elastic doesn't stay on the hook very well with, um, with the bang sticks. So I got a little trick that I'll show you here. So I have a little trick here for using an offset hook. For you guys that like to use a normal offset hook, it really works good with the last tech and I'm going to show you how it works here this is I need to go in my tackle locker and get what I need here uh, you need the old stool old school pegots or um, just a rubber slip stop this is what I like to use you use these to, to stop your sinkers a lot of time but they work great for this they're also a great keeper what you're gonna do after you've rigged up uh, I'm gonna use as I said like a 3 16th ounce sinker right so I'm going to take my 3 16 ounce sinker and I'm going to rig it up on there first. All right. And then for me, just with 15, 17 pound test fluorocarbon, I'm almost always going to use just a Palomar knot to tie my, uh, my connection knot to my hook, right? All right, so you got all that tied up. Once you have all that tied up, all you're gonna do, cinch it down real good after you've wet it, cut your tag in, and now you've got, clip a little bit more of that, okay? Then you're left with this. All right, that's what you're left with. Now, what you need to do, you're gonna take your bobber stop, or your slip stop, or T stop, whatever we like to call it, some of you old school guys, you've seen this trick. We used to do it back in the day with a toothpick, but now we have these little rubber T-stops. I'm actually just going to take my T-stop and I'm going to put it through the line tie. All right. And what we're going to make is a barb, something for that plastic to adhere to. You're going to take it, pull it through pretty good, get some, get, get, you know, pull it through pretty tight so you got the meatier part. You see how it gets bigger towards the end. You want some meat on it. And you're going to clip the ends off. You've got a lot there, right? Give yourself maybe about a quarter inch on each side of the line tie. Clip it off. Quarter inch on this side. Clip it off and that's what you're left with. Alright. 
We're gonna use this. I'm actually gonna cut it a little shorter. You don't want it hanging outside the plastic. And that's what you're left with. What you're gonna do with your plastic, when you go to thread it up on your hook, I'm just gonna Texas rig it like you've always seen. I'm run my plastic up. And I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue. If you guys super glue is like mine, it never comes out of the spout just like it's supposed to. So what we're gonna do put a little bit of super glue on your on your little stop, your uh, T-stop on both ends, right? Now, run your plastic up and over the T-stop. Okay? Now, that plastic ain't never going anywhere. That, that, that plastic will last longer than asphalt, okay? Longer than concrete. It's gonna hold it on there, let it dry for just a second, okay? And then you can Texas rig. I got everybody in the country texting me right now. Sorry about that. And emailing me, texting me. They wanna know about this video, I guess. When you run it up on there and it's nice and dry, just uh, to expose your hook here, run it up on top, and there you go. That thing will never come down. Your plastic will last all day long. What I like about elastic is it's super soft. It get good hook penetration. I almost always just rig my, when I'm using elastic, just bury the hook right into the plastic. I very rarely have ever to expose it because the hook is so, so the plastic is so soft, there's no need to. And that's gonna hold that plastic there, keep it from slipping down on the hook and balling up and cause me to miss strikes. So try that guys, it'll help you. You can cut this down a little bit more. You can see how it's a little funky. You can actually just cut down the barbs on the side of that thing and you'll have a nice keeper keep your plastic nice and straight all day when you go to set the hook on a fish you'll be able to catch them so that's my tip for you when you're texas rigging a soft plastic with the last tech on a regular offset og hook it'll never slip down that way you catch you a lot of fish